journal entries are either created by automatic journal entries or manually by you, the user. A manual journal entry can be an adjusting entry, a bank charge, a bank interest entry, or any entry that needs to be entered that is not automatically created by the system. When entering a manual journal entry, you enter header information such as site, entry type, and date. You determine the journal category and status and perhaps enter document reference information or currency information. And finally, you enter detail account information. A separate row is entered for each account that makes up the journal entry. Let's take a look at entering a manual journal entry in your system. To enter in a manual journal entry, you will use the journal entry function, which can be found in the financials menu, the journals block. Select the entry transaction screen that you want to use. I am going to select the one page column entry screen. To enter in a new journal entry, click New in the right hand panel. Enter in your site. And then enter in your entry type. If it doesn't default in for you, you can click on your looking glass. I am going to be doing a general adjustment, so I will select General Adjustment. Next, you'll enter in the date. This is the date that the journal entry will post to in the general ledger. I am going to be entering in October's finance charge, so I'm going to select October 31st. My journal code defaults in for my entry type. If it's acceptable, I go ahead and press the tab key. For my category, I can make it an actual or a simulation journal entry. This is going to be an actual, so I'll leave it at actual. My status can be temporary or final. I may want to make changes, so I'm going to go ahead and leave mine as temporary. I can enter in my source document, and then I can enter in my document date. I'm not going to be entering in any type of reversal, so I can let this all default to no. Next, I enter in my site. I enter in my account number, and I enter in my debit amount. I can enter in a description, and then I can come to my next line. I'll put the other half of my transaction in. This time I'm going to put it against my finance charge income. I don't know my account, so I'm going to look it up using my looking glass. If I don't want to enter in my other half of my transaction, I can always click the action card on the line and select balance and let the system enter the amount for me. I can enter in a description. And then I can come over and press enter to set my amount. Notice my debits and my credits do equal and then I can go ahead and click create. This has created my new journal entry. In this lesson, you have learned how to enter a manual journal entry, what type of information is entered into the header portion of the screen, and how to enter the lines information for each account number that makes up the entry.